to my channel so today on the occasion of wish day i have invited rc to my channel and trust me this will be a very great discussion so please watch this video till the end so hello rc thank you thank you for accepting my invitation so could you please give me your quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you hi i am ritanjali i am rc uh, as you already told my name i am a software engineer i work at service now uh, other than being an engineer uh, i mentor people and i have also been an instructor in the past i am also quite active on linkedin that's great apart from this like rc creates very great content at linkedin i personally follow her and especially her motivational quotes are really good so you can follow rc at linkedin i will put her linkedin uh, like in linkedin id link in the description so please check out the description so as so rc as we can see that there is a big gender gap in it sector so what is your thought on this like what is the root cause of this could you please uh, explain this uh, in my opinion i feel like still you know a lot of girls are not uh, going for good studies people do normal graduations and then drop out many parents still opt for you know spend saving for their marriage rather than spending on their education and some areas are still you know the people are like that that they feel women should not go out and work so i think in my opinion these are a few of the reasons uh, which are the reason for this less yes. women workforce in the it Yes, this is a real problem. Like I personally see, like I am from Bihar, and here I am seeing that lots of parents don't want to spend on her daughter's education. Like they can take loan and they can even sell their land for their son education, but they will not uh, yeah. give some money to for their daughter education. They generally save money for their dowry kind of things. So this is a major reason I think why because majority if you if you will see the overall picture, then majority of engineers are from UP and Bihar. and if these area will not send their daughter for engineering then of course there will be a gap like if you will see that there are lots of girls from south india and other state but uh, i can see that there are very less girls from up and bihar so that's why this may be one reason yeah so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, also yeah. there is one more reason like relatively less role model for girls like uh, you, you can find really relatively less women role model for girls and people like you are re- doing really great work indirectly you are motivating thousands of women in our industry so that's great keep doing rj yeah so rj my next Thank question you. is have you ever faced gender gap in your life not much but yeah like as a woman i mean i always have to think like you know where to go what time to go and i have to come back at a certain time i have to think before stepping out i have to see what i wear all of these things are i mean the impact and also if we see while working like in most of the office in most of the offices uh, women are not allowed to stay after 8 or 7 pm but if you are a man you can stay till what time you want so these are the some of the things which happens with a woman uh, which i don't like but yeah yeah these are the main problem like when i was in my college uh, like girls hostel used to get closed at 7 pm and uh, like if they go, if any girls wants to do some lab work after the 7 pm or they want to go gym or any uh, cultural activity activity then they can't be able to do so this is a timing is a major issue for girls i don't know why uh, in india we are not taking this seriously but this is important like if i will not get time after my college then how can i prepare and do my best so, uh, another aspect of my life yeah. yeah exactly and i personally faced lots of biasing like uh, uh, like uh, during my college time also and during my school time it was very big deal for girls to study and during the college time a uh, only biasing i faced that uh, i was not allowed to go outside of my hostel after 7 pm yeah 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 this, this happened with me too <laughs> Yes, this is a real problem. And uh, if you will, yeah. uh, if you ask your authority or postal authority why they are putting, they will have lots of list of answer for this. And uh, like, uh, if something is wrong, then try to correct this. This is nothing like uh, if you something is wrong, then uh, tell us. Uh, they used to tell us that you should have to live life like this only. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean I, I think this is uh, I mean they also do it for us because of security reasons. We live in such an environment that it is really important for us to take care of these things to be safe. 
yes um so this is the major problem i think uh, in future this may get uh, like improved but not fully improved i, I can say yeah, yeah so hopefully. my yeah so the one more question i want to ask like am i lots of viewer are girls not lots of viewer if i will see my uh, youtube analytics then 90% my of my viewers are men and the rest 10% are women but still i want to say that uh, since lots of girls are watching this video so what are some advice you want to give uh, to those girls like uh, not only for the academic or not only for the uh, company perspective try to explain this in the general life how they can uh, like what are some advice you want to give? give them uh, i would like to say to to really do what you want and not think about society and everybody around you uh, not everybody matters and all and i suggest that to be independent to stand on your own feet and be independent especially financially that is really important in today's time yeah this is really true like financial independence is not choice but it is necessary like lots of girls you should consider that this is a choice like if they want to become financial independent then they will if they don't want to become then they cannot be but i think this is mandatory this is not choice like if you will not be a financial independent independent that any time of your life you will face a uh, you may face a very big problem so that's why I, i also want to say that finance is really important Yeah, so yeah, to, I, yeah, to be able to take care of yourself. Yes, and yourself and your important. family. Ah, uh, like this is not your yeah, brother's yeah. responsibility to take care of your parents. This is your responsibility yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Ah, uh, so. yeah correct so i i think i have covered all the points so if you are if i will ask you to, to give three advice then could you please summarize that what are three advice you want to give to our viewer a uh, to be serious about your career in your 20s so as you just said that uh, to be a financially independent to be great in their uh. future and also take care of your family and take the responsibility don't escape from like don't think that this is not your responsibility every responsibility that belongs to any uh, boy or your brother or your husband this belongs to you also so try to take the responsibility as you can see okay. that archi is really very uh, doing great in with respect to finance <laughs> so you can take motivation from archi <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay cha so i'll answer the last question three, three advices three advices you want to give you can summarize these three advices like what are the last three advice you want to give to our viewers yeah so the first one is to be serious about your career and to become financially independent the second one is to be uh, i mean to take care of your parents your family or uh, they are the one who will stay with you till the last and also the third one is to enjoy your life along the way because that is important to if you are really busy in everything your life will pass and you will not be young all your life so yeah enjoy right. along with what you do yes so enjoy your journey you can say <laughs> like whatever yeah, yeah. you are doing enjoy that So this is really great advice. Like I forget, uh, that's why I'm saying that follow Archie. She used to post lots of motivational quotes, and I personally like her quotes. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, so that's all about this video. Thank you so much. And if you haven't liked this video and subscribe this channel, then please like this video and subscribe this channel. So happy Wednesday to all of you. Thank you. Bye bye.